Hello guys, Greg here. So I got this package the other day. Uh, I've been waiting to open it until I had a chance to film it. I know you're probably thinking, oh, what'd you get, Greg? A four gallons of Froggy's Fog or something like that? But no, that is not what I got. So I'll show you real quick where it came from. I don't know if you make that out or not, but it says Nightmare Makers. And to me. All right, so let's see what we got here. Nightmare Makers. Awesome. <clears throat> Foam Skulls. I think this is actually one of the uh, first full skulls they've done. I know they've been doing the half skulls. So we got three of the full skulls. Awesome. And six. Six of the half skulls with no jaw. So I got plans for these. I'm planning on, uh, or my plan is to make a tomb this year, and I'm going to use these six half or quarter skulls, whatever you want to call them, to decorate the tomb with. So I got special plans for these. Fantastic. And the full skulls. I have to carve them down a little bit. But I'm planning to use these on some pose and stay skeletons I got because I, I, I just don't like the way the pose and stay skulls look on the bodies. So as I said, this is uh, from Nightmare Makers. They um, currently don't have a website or anything, but they do have a Facebook page and you can order. They have pictures of all of the different skulls they have available there. They have um, three different skull options, different skulls you can choose from. And then you can choose whether you want the full or you want the uh, half, quarter, whatever you want to call them. They also sell uh, the molds. They sell the molds that they make these skulls with. So you can buy the mold and make as many of your own as you want. They're very reasonably priced. Um, I usually buy the Michaels uh, beaded foam skulls and these, including with shipping and everything, I believe were a little cheaper than what I would have paid 
for one of the Michael's beaded foam skulls. And they are, they are uh, a little more realistic too. It's freaking awesome. I'll show you here in a minute why I, um, what I'm talking about, about the stay in pose skulls and why I don't like them. Well, these are fantastic. All right, guys, so let's compare skulls. So here we've got your basic Lindbergh skull, model skull which is supposed to be anatomically correct, roughly anyway, along with your basic pose and stay skeleton skull. You can see there's a huge difference, the size, overall shape of it. This pose and stay skull is from one of the target skeletons. But they're all basically the same. I've got a couple of the Costco's as well, and the skulls are molded identically. They're just painted a little different, and the target come with a, a string because they're hung in the, in the stores. So let's compare that with the Nightmare Maker skull that I just got. So there you go, you'll notice that it is larger than the pose and stay skull. It appears to be much more like the Lindbergh skull in shape and size and everything. So it's much more life size, lifelike than the pose and stay skeleton skull. That is why I really don't care for the look of the pose and stay skeletons with the uh, skull they come with. To me, it just doesn't, it doesn't look right. It looks, it looks too fake. So with a couple of these skulls, I plan on putting these on a couple of Costco pose and stay skeletons I have, I got recently from eBay. And now you know. Plus, I can now answer the question if anyone ever asks, hey, how many heads can you fit into a four one gallon box. Well, we've got three full skulls and six quarter skulls or half skulls, whatever you want to call them. So I say that's at least the volume of six heads. Sorry guys, nobody told me there'd be math, but there you go. So you can fix six heads into a four gallon box. Amazing, isn't it? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.